Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we are talking about women from the Bible. Have you ever wanted to know what women said in the Bible? The Bible is like a movie script and the writer, producer, and director is the Most High, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And women are the co-stars. So, if you are interested in watching more then definitely, stay tuned. A study has revealed that there are a total of just 93 women mentioned in the Bible, and they speak only 1.1% of the time, and that of the 93 women, only 49 were named, and together they spoke a grand total of 14,056 words. I wanted to know what women in the Bible really said. The mother of the Creator's son speaks just 191 words, while Mary Magdalene says only 61 words and Sarah the wife of Abraham, is attributed with 141 words. Meanwhile, Eve, perhaps the Bible's best-known woman, speaks only 74 words, and Judith, from the book of Judith, has the most words spoken with a grand total of 2,689. An unnamed Samaritan woman, who has one of the longest recorded conversation with the Creator's Son in the Bible, speaks a total of just 151 words. It is estimated that the Bible contains around 1.1 million words in total. Women have traditionally fulfilled supportive roles in helping their people and gain their greatest joy and sense of accomplishment from being wives and mothers. The feminist movement has successfully influenced many women to abandon these divinely ordained roles. Unfortunately, this movement has made headway in our nation, creating chaos and confusion regarding the role of women both in the communities and in the home. Only in Scripture can the Most High's intended design for women be found. So the Bible begins with the Creator of the heavens and the earth creating man first and then woman. As persons, as spiritual beings standing before our Father, men and women are absolutely not equal. And, there is in Genesis 2 a more detailed account of the creation of these two human beings that reveals differences in their God-given functions and responsibilities. The Most High did not create the man and the woman at the same time, but rather he created man first and woman later for the specific purpose of being the man's helper. Woman was second to man. She was given the role and duty of submitting to her husband. The word helper carries very positive connotations even being used of the Creator of the heavens and the earth Himself as the Helper of Israel, and it describes someone in a relationship of service to another. The responsibility of wives to submit to their husbands, then, was part of the plan from creation, even before the curse. The first books of the Bible establish both roles of men and women and also the supportive role of the man and woman to one another. When studying the role of the wife in the Bible, it is important to understand how the Creator designed the family unit. There are ranks described, the father, the son, the husband, the wife, and then the children. There are certain orders to things because that's what works. It's the same way with the Creator of the heavens and the earth design in the family unit. It works smoothly when done his way. The disobedience of man and woman to our Creator's laws resulted in certain consequences. For the woman, our Creator pronounced a curse that included multiplied pain in childbirth and tension in the authority-submission relationship of man and woman. The result of the fall on marriage through history has been an ongoing struggle between the sexes, with women seeking control over themselves and men, going against the Most High's laws. Throughout the Old Testament, women were active in the community life of Israel, but generally they were never leaders. Women like Deborah in the Book of Judges 4 were clearly the exception and not the rule. There was no woman with an ongoing prophetic ministry. No woman was a priest. No queen ever ruled Israel. No king is to be led by their wives. No woman wrote an Old Testament or New Testament book. Women ruling over men is an abomination. The Bible is like a movie script and the woman has the supportive role. She is the co-star. Her life could not be without man and the most high created woman for man. So the father thought man needed woman. Submission for the woman to her husband exists side by side with loving the creator. Because that is one of the most high's laws for women. And there is differences in responsibilities for men and women. The creator of the heavens and the earth covers his design for male and female. And the father makes it very clear. There are many passages that make distinctions between what the creator desires of men and what he desires of women especially within family and within the nation, indicating that the way of salvation for the woman is through man, while marriage is to involve love between the man and woman, and for the woman to submit, 
Four passages in the New Testament expressly give to wives the responsibility to submit to their husbands. It does not say for man to submit to woman. The Creator of the heavens and the earth says that man is the head of woman. If you have understanding from the Father, how can you say that man and woman are equal? The Creator's design is revealed in His Word. Man's authority over woman is not demeaning or in any way diminishing the woman's role. Rather, the man is called to teach and protect woman. Man is to serve as the leader in a relationship between man and woman. The father designed the husband as the leader of the home. The Bible describes this leadership as loving, not dictatorial, condescending, or patronizing of his wife or children. In fact, a husband's leadership is compared to the Creator's son's love for his people. This love is one of mercy, forgiveness, compassion, and selflessness. He calls for men to love their wives and to give himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word. From these verses we see that love and respect characterize the roles of both husbands and wives. If these are present, then authority, headship, love, and submission will be no problem for either spouse. Women to be the man's helper women are instructed to be keepers of the home they are not equal. The Bible also speaks of the wife's role in the marriage. Wives are to submit to their husbands as to the Most High. For the husband is the head of the wife as the Creator's son is the head of his people, his body, of which he is the Savior. Now as the people submits to the son, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. While husbands and fathers have been given the primary responsibility for the leadership of their children, as wives and mothers are urged to be workers at home which means managers of the household, their home and their children are to be their priority. In contrast to the world's emphasis today on careers and full-time jobs for women outside the home, the apostles were all men, the chief missionary activity was done by men. Women were not out fighting battles, the father has a special role for women, and leadership in the nation was entrusted to men. Although the apostle Paul respected women, he did not appoint a woman to be an elder or a pastor, and in his letters, he urged that men were to be the leaders in the nation and that women were not to teach or exercise authority over men. Therefore, women are not equal with men and women are excluded from leadership over men. Men and women bearing the image of the Father himself do not stand as equals before the Creator of the heavens and the earth, and that makes woman the co-star to men. The Most High calls upon both men and women to fulfill the roles and responsibilities specifically designed for them, a pattern that can be seen in fulfilling the divinely given roles taught in the New Testament. Women are able to realize their full potential because they are following the plan of their own Creator and Designer of the heavens and the earth. Only in obedience to Him and His design will women truly be able, in the fullest sense, to give glory to our Father. The Creator of the heavens and the earth is pleased when a woman does her duty to her husband and her children and cares for her home following His law, statutes, and commandments likewise. He is pleased when a man does his duty well and when children obey their parents. The role we have as wives is that of encouraging and helping our husbands. When we try to make it any more, or any less, that's when we run into trouble. You cannot get the word woman without men, just like women would not have been created without men. We all have our roles to play in a book that has already been written. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did leave a like and a comment, and if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.